right now we're talking about Twitter. So I have to ask you first, since, you know, I don't get to see you every day. Are you on uh, Twitter a lot? Because I do follow you oh on yeah. Twitter. Yeah, I'm on Twitter a decent amount. Uh, when, I'm, when I'm at home, maybe not as much. Yeah. If I do something cool around the house, maybe I'll post it up. Vanessa and I are getting into home improvement stuff. Oh, so. want to come to my house and do something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, hey, I can help you out. But, yeah. uh, I'm not, no expert by any means, but uh, you, you learn as you go. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's at work, definitely on Twitter all the time. Yeah, because, you know, a lot of people, they, they tweet, like, everything they do. And I just, I can't. You know, I, I'm no, not like, okay, no. I'm, I'm here, I'm there, I'm, doing, I'm like, does anyone, you know, don't care that much. <laughs> after, care that much. I, after oral surgery, I was a little hopped yeah. up on meds, so I was all like, woo! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Details of the surgery, I was like, well, maybe, maybe in retrospect, maybe you shouldn't have gotten too detailed with that. But Great. that's probably my biggest offense on Twitter, and a little, a little okay. hopped up I on just, I was just wondering, <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a good to see everyone. Okay, so we're talking about, you know, Sweet 16 March Madness. It's all trending on Twitter, and of course, as if beating Georgetown wasn't enough, Florida Gulf Coast decided to make history by becoming the first 15 seed to advance to the Sweet 16 with a win over San Diego State last night. This Cinderella team is the darling of the NCAA tournament, and they will look to continue their run. And I have to say, I watched the game on Friday night when they took on Georgetown, and I was mm -hmm. thinking to myself, you know, watching it, I'm like, this team has so much support right now in Syracuse. Everybody's rooting for them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they're playing Georgetown. I'm sitting there. I'm like, I never cheer this loud for any team other than Syracuse. But I really wanted them to win. And I, you know, I had to go to bed last night for a couple hours. So I wasn't able to see. But yeah, they, they were uh, joking around with their coach there. You know you're a morning worker when you say, yeah, I had to go to bed last night for a couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, but this team, it's, um, it's, it's really like they are, they're awesome. So would they, uh, you'll have to forgive me, I don't know the terminology, would, would they be considered the Cinderella's yeah, of the tournament? Yeah, because, right. you know, they had that upset on Friday, and there's never been a 15-seed team that's made it to the wow. Sweet 16 okay. ever so, in the NCAA so that is tournament very significant. history. So yeah, so you know, people really are going to be trying. They remind me a little bit of Butler from, remember a couple years ago when Butler and UConn were in the final? Not really. No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was probably watching a NASCAR race. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Well, you can follow Matt. You can talk to Matt about NASCAR, anything. You can follow the whole morning team on Twitter. That's right. You can find me at Matt Snowman, C-N-Y.